Hey, Fragrance Family, I'm Daver. I'm Jer. And we're, we're the, the Breakers Pros. <laughs> Come at you again with another review, this time on Ultra Zest by Thierry Maglier. What? <laughs> And of course, we have Jer as uh, the guest reviewer this time. Yeah! So glad to have him back again. Got to come back for Theory Muggler. That's right. Yes. That's right. Have to. Have to. What would, it would be, what would it be without Jer as the guest for Theory Muggler? All right, let's get straight to it. Date introduced is 2015. Mm -hmm. It's classified as a woody spicy. Notes are blood orange, tangerine, patchouli, vanilla, coffee, cinnamon, ginger, mint, black pepper, and tonka bean. I could have called some of those for you because it's the Theory Muggler fragrance and they just... I yeah. think we just bought some of those like in bulk. That's right. <laughs> That's right. It's like, we need about a million gallons of patchouli, vanilla, and coffee. That's right. I don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to make a rock star fragrance out of it. How much vanilla do we have left, Bill? Four million gallons? <laughs> Damn. All right. Here we go again. <laughs> All right, so what do you get out of longevity out of this? I get really good longevity out okay. of this. I get... Probably around eight hours, okay, which is really good for me. I like it, and it's strong. Yeah, I would say I get about the same. I would say it's in the average range, mm. um, but yeah, I get I get about the same. Okay, I love about projection. I get good projection out of this. Do you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, high side of average. Okay, a lot of notices when I've worn it. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I get about average projection. I, I don't think it really pushes out as much as some of the other ones do. Um, oh but, yeah, I'd say that's true too. Yeah. Season, this is kind of a funny one. Um, I'm not really sure exactly where this is going to fit. I would say spring and fall are probably the places that you want it. Yeah. And um, I think it works good day or night time, maybe more on the nighttime side. It's, yeah. It's hard to say with this one. It, it could do a lot of different things. Yeah. You could say that it can't do anything very well or it could do all of them very well. Yeah. Purpose, I would say this is good for casual work and maybe a date. Yeah. I'd agree. Now, what does this remind you of? Well, Dave, I'll tell you. <laughs> Do so. <laughs> Since you asked. You know how we've talked about Theory Mug with fragrances for years? Yeah. And we've said, all right, guys, enough with the Pure Line. Yeah. Or we've said things like, you know what they need to do with the Pure Line is take it but go in X direction. Yeah. And I feel like <clears throat> we've all felt that way and said that, but I feel like I never really knew exactly what that meant. I just knew I wanted something different, yeah. right? And when they tried different things, I didn't like what they tried. Like, you know, they tried Sun Essence and it's kind of like, meh. You know, they tried uh, Iceman, it's kind of like, meh. So I kind of feel like they really did a good job with this. Like, this okay. is, I didn't know what I wanted it to be, but now that I smell it, I'm like, all right, they took that DNA and they really did something new, not too far off of it, yeah. but far enough off that it's a new yeah. thing, but it's not horrible. You know what I mean? Yeah. But that's, that's a glowing recommendation, right? It's, it's, <laughs> we're possessed. It's not horrible. It's not horrible. <laughs> But it does have the uh, the undeniable mark uh, or stamp of the of Theory Muggler, which yeah. which we all like so very much. So I appreciate that. It opens up fresher than most of them do, which I like. And then when it starts drying down, it still kind of smells like that, like the like the, you know that DNA, but also kind of doesn't in a way. Mm -hmm. It's weird. I really like what they did with it. Like it's it's it remind it has like that um, tinge of nostalgia to me. Like yeah, that's Theory yeah. Muggler. That's TM. But it's different enough where it's something new, where I don't feel like, well, you know, because I'm always kind of like, do I need pure malt and pure Havan? Not really. Yeah. But this is different enough yeah. that it makes sense to me. So I really, I really think it's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, I think I'm on the other side of the fence a little bit. Okay. I think this is a good fragrance, but I have a couple of issues with it. All right. One of them being, to me, it's almost exactly like pure malt. Really? Yes. Wow. Okay. It is 80% pure malt and 20% orange and cinnamon. That doesn't make it a bad fragrance. I can't, I can't hate it for that because I love pure malt. Mm -hmm. Like if you were to imagine the replacing the berry note in pure malt with orange. Okay. Replacing the smoky note in pure malt, pure malt with cinnamon. This is what you have. What I mostly get is I mostly get a lot of caramel. Yes. A lot of caramel. I get a, a good bit of cinnamon and then I get uh, a little bit of orange. And okay. the orange in there, kind of, uh, it doesn't really smell <clears throat> orangey, doesn't really smell citrusy, citrusy to me. Yeah. It's just kind of a sweetness yeah. there. But it's nice. Mm -hmm. you get bubble gummy smell from it? I do get a bubble gum smell. Okay. I, yeah, like, yeah like, uh, like big red, cinnamon gum. Okay, I get more like Bazooka Joe. Okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> I can smell that too a little bit. <laughs> the other thing I need to mention also is my main quibble about this is this came out at a time when it's supposed to come out 
spring and summer. Mm -hmm. So you think it's going to be kind of a fresher <clears throat> smell. It's called Ultra Zest. Yeah. And you think it's going to have a zesty, orangey smell. Yeah. And it doesn't. It has a little bit of orange in there, but it's not like that type of scent that you think it's going to be. Yeah. So let me also mention this too. With uh, a lot of the reviews, uh, one thing I've noticed is the first couple of reviews that come out on you know one of these fragrances sets the narrative of all the other reviews a lot of times. Okay. Yes. And so uh, uh, I've heard some people say it was real zesty. I've heard some people say it smelled like a creamsicle. And then other people have said that same thing. And I don't think any of those are true. Hmm. Like it's not zesty in an orange zest type of way at all. It has some spiciness to it. Mm -hmm. And it has a little, bit, a little bit of orange to it, but it doesn't have that. And as far as creamsicle, it does not smell like a creamsicle at all. This is a reskinned, slightly fresher pure malt. It doesn't make it bad. It just makes it redundant if you already have pure malt. It's not fresh enough for me to wear in the summer. And I don't, I don't know if I would wear it much in the spring. Mm. And these are my main gripes with this. Mm. I don't know. Like, it's not super zesty. I'll definitely agree with that. It's yeah. not that orangey. A little bit right in the beginning, but not yeah. that much. But um, I don't know. To me, it's, it's more fresh than I, than I guess it comes off to you. I don't know if it smells like a creamsicle. No. But I like what they did here. I don't know. Something about it just really, really stuck in my crawl, Dave. <laughs> I really like it. <laughs> Yeah, like I don't think it's a bad fragrance. Right. I think it's a good fragrance because I think pure malt is a good fragrance. I think it's a great fragrance. Yes. And this is, I think, uh, this is a fresher version. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I agree. It is somewhat fresh. It's like semi-fresh. Okay. It's not like full-on fresh. No, yeah, you're right. Would you say this is, okay, so if it smells 80% pure malt, okay, so the 20% they add, to you, does that detract from what the pure malt is? This is worse than pure malt? No, I don't think so at all. I think, I think, um, I don't think it's as good as pure malt. I think pure malt was amazing, but okay. I don't necessarily think that it was a downgrade. Mm -hmm. um, I think this is a, a fine fragrance. It's more just like a lateral move, I guess. Like it's just, it's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. It distinguishes itself a little bit, and it fits definitely within the pure line. Mm -hmm. And I will say, like this grew on me a lot. Mm -hmm. When I first wore it, I had mixed feelings. And then the more and more I wore it, the more you know, I really actually dig it. Yeah, I do like it. Mm -hmm. If you like the pure line, I think you're really gonna like this. Okay. Definitely fits in that family. My biggest complaint is that Fairy Muggler cannot, it, it's impossible to make a fresh spring or fresh summer fragrance with the uh, formula from Amen. <laughs> from the Amen line. It's impossible. Yeah. You yeah. can't do it. Yes. They've tried famously and have failed. Yes. This is probably one of the better attempts that mm -hmm. they've had at doing it, but it still doesn't really land in spring, summer, real fresh scent. I think they should never, I think what they should do is they should not make a fresh scent in the pure line. Mm. I think they should make a fresh scent from something else. And we've this talked about This is the ultra line, Dave. <laughs> yeah, right. This is, this is the genesis of the ultra line. No, it's not. <laughs> so we've talked about this before mm -hmm. and what they really need to do is they really, really, this is, this is their home run right here. They need to make a fresh line from the Muggler Cologne line. Howdy. Make Muggler flankers I wear that. and make just fresh lines. Just kill it yeah. every year. Make one every year like you do Pure Line yep. and it'll be fresh and that's where your fresh can be. Mm -hmm. You can just harp on the Muggler Cologne yeah. uh, formula, whatever, tweak it. You can go a lot. You can go crazy nuts. Yeah. That is a cash cow right there. That's what, yeah. Because Muggler Cologne is an amazing fresh scent mm -hmm. and it is an anomaly in their line. Mm -hmm. And they haven't done anything with it except yes. just sell that. Like Iceman, Pure Shot, <laughs> Sun Essence. <laughs> you remember when we shot that video asking our, well, when I was a part of this, asking the subscribers to give ideas yeah. for the, what the next thing would be? I feel like this is something that somebody could have come up with that I think would have been a fairly winning idea. What's funny is one person actually suggested Pure Cinnamon. And it was, mm. they suggested cinnamon on You're top right. of that. With a red bottle and a gold star. Exactly. Yeah, like the flash. Like, <laughs> like Ultra Zest. Yeah. Hmm. I would love to think that they're watching our videos, you know, kind of putting our, putting their finger to the pulse and saying, mm -hmm. oh man, they really know what's going on with our line. Yeah. I don't necessarily think they're doing that, but who yeah. knows. You know, we did a split of this. Uh, and so if you don't know, I do, I do a lot of the spraying of the split. So this was a predominant scent in my house for days. <laughs> For days and days, 
And that really had, that was a large contributing factor to me liking it as much as I do. Okay. Just, I, I, it, it grew on me. The more I smelled it, I was like, yeah. And I could smell it in, smell it in different um, phases of the scent because when I'm decanting it, it's like the opening because it's just really fresh right there. Yeah. But then it kind of stays in the room so I could come back the next morning and it's more dried down. And I like that too. And I was like, man, I really, I really have a fondness yeah. for oh, Uzi. Bang for buck, it's ninety dollars for a hundred mil, which I think is an excellent value for what you get with the air muggler. I mean, that's yeah what you get normally. That's right. Uh, but I think that's a good deal for what you get. That's and, right. You know, it is on the unique side. Mm -hmm. It's uh, interesting, and uh, it smells like the pure line. So <laughs> you like not horrible. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and what about compliments? Yeah. Oh man, my wife, big fan. Really? Big fan. Wow. Wants to wear it herself. In fact. Goodness. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And I think she could. Yeah, I think so too. Probably. Um, yeah. I'm thinking about getting some actually. <laughs> I really like it. Yeah. I think that I think that it's got some versatility in the seasons. Even though it's kind of hard to pin down, I think it could still work. She might wear it. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's it's a it's a winner in the in the Jair house. My wife really liked it too. Um, uh, she was a big fan. She liked the freshness of it. Mm -hmm. And I told her, you know, what the name was. I, I, I told her a little bit of information. And she actually did get a little bit of a zestiness, mm -hmm. especially when I first sprayed it on. And she thought it smelled lemony, which I don't think it smells lemony. Hmm. But uh, she really liked it. Nice. Final rating, what do you give it? I'm going to give this a four out of five. It's not earth shattering or anything like that. But to me, if, if I'm, at least for me, if I'm going to ask Theory Muggler to step outside the box, I don't know what else I could expect them to do besides this. Yeah. Other than our Muggler Cologne suggestions, which. Yeah, which will, would be amazing. Which will never, ever happen. So, <laughs> so given that, I think this is, was a, just a really great attempt. It's, I'm a big fan, smells great, I think it's a good value. Uh, yeah, four out of five, solid. I'm going to go with a four out of five as well, for all the same reasons that you said. You know, yeah. I do think that they, they changed it enough to where it distinguishes itself. Mm -hmm. It's uh, somewhat on the fresher side. It still smells like it's within the pure line. Yeah. Very pleasant. I mean, I think it's a great scent on its own. Mm -hmm. um, to me, it just smells a little bit too much like an orange cinnamon pure malt. <laughs> yeah. So that's all we have. Let us know down in the comments down below what you think of Ultra Zest. Do you like it, love it, hate it? Let us know down in the comments down below. And of course, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe down below. We'll love you for it. We'll see you later. We're the Fragrance Bros. Ultra Zest. It's not horrible.